Sinahanya Mayor Robert Hoffman recounts the late Rudy Iriarty's last wish during a public hearing Thursday on a bill to abolish the Sinahanya vice mayor position. When I was up at the hospital, I was with the vice mayor on his bedside and he's like, you know, the mold and stuff. I'm like, I know. He's like, let's spend the money that way. Let's not do it on an election. I said, I'll, I'll bring it up. So we did bring it up to Senator San Augustine uh, in December. With changing times and a declining population, Hoffman says he and Iriarty have been in talks to do away with the post for the past year, even while the vice mayor was in the hospital. Throughout this time, he was acutely aware of his declining health and the implications it carried. From the cost to finance a special election to a salary for a position that's no longer necessary, it was Iriarty's wish to use those funds instead on more critical needs. He firmly believed that such funds could be more meaningfully allocated to vital public services, such as the hospital or the police department, which are essentially pillars of our society. According to a fiscal note provided by the Bureau of Budget and Management Research, the Sinahanya vice mayor's salary and benefits amounts to $94,521.40. Guam Election Commission Executive Director Maria Pangilinan says the commission continues to prepare for a mandated special election set for March 9th that costs about $25,000. Expenses include precinct official stipend, ballot production, transportation and security, and mandated public notice. Candidate packets for the Sinahanya vice mayor are already ready for pickup at our office. She confirms as of today, no one has picked up a candidacy packet yet. Still, as bill author Senator Will Parkinson puts it, they're hoping to fast-track the measure before voters cast their ballots. Part of what we're doing this too is we're trying to save costs for you folks but, if, but I understand that until the bill is passed, you have to move as if the bill is never going to pass. Plus, with homebound voting beginning on February 26th, it's a rush to get the bill on session agenda. Mitsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.